Good morning, everybody. Now, anybody who's watched this channel for a little while will know there are two things that I really enjoy, among other things. One is reading, and the other is action films. But what happens when these two things combine? Well, you get crap like this. The Way of the Shadow Wolves by Steven Seagal. Okay. Um, I love Steven Seagal films, one of his early ones. His best one, as everybody knows, is Under Siege. The man is basically a walking meme at this point. He's basically a compulsive liar who says that he served in the Navy SEALs. He obviously didn't because anybody with half a brain will be able to go back and check military records. He also said that he's studied like seven different martial arts and that he can't be choked out. Where Stuntman actually on in the movie Out for Justice actually did choke him out. But what happens when he actually puts pen to paper? Well, you get crap like this. So the plot of this literary genius is the good guy is called John Nan Tan Goad and he is a deep cover agent called for the Shadow Wolves and he discovers a plot um, for some Mexican drug cartels to get a bunch of Iranian Muslim terrorists into America. I am not making this up, that is the actual plot. The writing is absolutely lumpen. It's obviously written by a ghostwriter, then probably Segal himself decided to rewrite it. So we get masterpieces like this. A man sits alone, quietly watching the film in the back of the darkened theatre. He stirs in his seat and comments to himself, it's about time. John Goad rises slowly from his seat and continues viewing as he backs up, slowly making his way out of the theatre into the lobby. Okay, so we've got a completely different perspective in terms of the writing there. It goes on in for this. I'm too old for this shit, he thought. Ripping off lethal weapon much? Then he continued, let's go people, I have 15 minutes to tell you what you need to be doing for the next week. POTUS has accelerated his timeline for Operation Paperclip 2. We have 1,000 jihadists coming in next month. How does he know that that's that many jihadist terrorists coming in? You know, what does he do, to keep a tally chart? Does he work out the mean, median and mode? And we get more of this crap. Hey, did I scare you, little boy? She threw her head back, releasing her long black hair and gave a sultry laugh as she devoured him with her eyes. She waved him to her. Hey, baby, nice surprise. Almost got you killed, Bo. The dialogue is just so lumpen and so is the actual descriptive prose. And obviously there is a shift in the way that the, the, the scene is written. I mean, and this goes on not just from chapter to chapter, but from page to page. So it's obviously written by two different people who have wildly different writing styles. Now, Stephen Seagal is clearly not in on the joke. Somebody like Chuck Norris or Arnie or even Sly were in on the joke. They knew that this was all just a bit of a laugh. These 80s, 90s action films, which we all grew up with and absolutely loved. They knew it was daft. I mean, Chuck Norris is even sitting there reading out Chuck Norris facts. That's how much of, you know, he does not take himself seriously. Seagal seems to think that this is serious stuff. What this seems to come across as, this does not read like a fiction novel, which is what it's supposed to. It reads like a conspiracy theory which has come out of the warped mind of Steven Seagal. And he thinks that everybody who is not a white heterosexual person is a bad guy and needs to be killed in various gory ways. Allow me to demonstrate and underline the point. How's that pig blood feel, asshole? Is it starting to course through your veins, maybe even pissing off the prophet? John said in a hoarse whisper. Racist much? So did I enjoy this novel? Well, I enjoyed taking the mick out of it and I've enjoyed making this video taking the piss out of it. Would I recommend it? Well, yeah, if you want a laugh. The thing is, this is on Amazon for $14. So you have to pay $14 to actually read this garbage. And then you have to have the face of Steven Seagal on the cover of the book. He's so fucking narcissistic that he put himself on the cover rather than the fictional character that it's supposed to be. Need I say more? I'm not even gonna dignify it any further. Um, if you enjoyed this, if you want to read a copy, go and grab it. 
If not, then you've at least got this video to tell you that this is terrible. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks very much and have a really good day.